Hello, and here we are again with Anytime Yoga. And today we are going to continue the relationship with our abdominals. Go again to practice boat pose, and then something that's gonna test our balance, coordination, and strength. So get your mat and get on it. Come to the classic cross-legged position to begin. Take this time to tune in to the breath. Elevate up through your body to create space so that you may sit comfortably with all internal organs feeling as though they have a spaciousness around them, enabling them to receive greater amounts of the oxygen you are now breathing in. Turning your attention to your breath and observing it. As soon as you observe the breath, you can then consciously control. Take a longer, deeper inhalation Perhaps hold it at the top and then have a full, conscious and complete breath out. Holding it at the bottom. And then return into your rhythmic breath. Noticing that indeed it has lengthened and slowed, and with this comes a sense of calm. No more shallow breaths that leave the nervous system on edge. Settling in to a bit of peace and tranquility of the self. Preparing the self for the yoga practice. And today we're going to continue that start-up relationship we've had with our abdominals. We had a quick session yesterday that led us in to making ourselves become acquainted to the stomach and understanding that if you keep a strong stomach, that is going to support your spine. So, Let's now get ourselves prepared to go into Navasana boat posture so that we can just warm up those stomach muscles and prepare them for the position that comes after, which is going to test our balance, coordination and core strength. So bring yourself round along the mat, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart and get in your position nice and centered on your sit bones both buttocks you're going to draw up through the trunk of the body you're going to think of elongating the body lifting all the lower parts up just bring your hands back side of the hamstrings Nice deep breath in through the nostrils. And as you breathe out, just settle the body back to a point that's comfortable for you. And just breathe here for a moment or two, ensuring that you engage the stomach muscles. You trigger that communication between the mind and the body, letting it know that in a moment or very soon, you're gonna be lifting the legs away and you're gonna be balancing by using deep abdominal muscles. So let's try that. We can just come onto the toes a little bit. We could release one leg and bring those toes in line with the knees. We can alternate. We can utilize this time to then stretch up through our torso, open our heart space, drop our shoulders back, Gently easing ourselves into it. You might like to bring both toes to knee level. You can even keep the hands beside you to begin with. 
alternate the legs. Energize the self. Pull yourself into a little ball, just have a breather. Get to grips once again with your midriff, your waist, the stomach, that whole area that we tend to let go of first and foremost in our lives. We allow the stomach muscles to collapse and get lazy because they're buried quite deep. Navasana, take a breath in, draw up through the trunk of your body. Think of elongating the torso. Exhale, straighten the legs and think of stretching the back legs forward and beyond you. Bring the arms parallel with the sides of the body. Keep both sides parallel. Set in motion to get strong from your core. Remember to breathe and then pull yourself in and just have a moment to adjust and adapt. Unclench your teeth and we'll get ready to go again. So once more, prepare yourself equally distributing your weight onto both sitting bones. Drawing up through the sacrum, keeping it lifted whilst well pressed in to your base. This is your foundation, this part here. Make it strong. Take the balance on the sit bones by just bringing the toes off and again, at this point, you can work here for quite a while, for many practices, should you need to. Just engage in that stomach, switching it on. Alternate the legs, maybe take the hands away when you're ready. And then in the fullness of the position, Taking the feet out, straightening the legs, extending the backs of the legs away from you. Both sides parallel. Breathe. Shoulders away from the ears. Chin up. And then a breath in and draw yourself in centrally. You can give yourself a hug. And we'll move on to the next position. It's it's a little sequence of movements that are going to allow us to develop great coordination, balance and strength. Firstly, we are going to deal with the positioning of the arms. And for this, we might need a belt or a strap. You're going to take your right arm out to the side, take it up above your head and then bend, bend at the elbow. Breathe in, take your left arm up and over and bring your left hand to the outer edge of your right arm and gently draw it across nice and softly and then release. You'll then take your left arm out to the side of you, you'll breathe in and you'll rotate it clockwise forwards and you'll make the movement occur from the shoulder. So avoid just turning your wrist and your hand. Revolve the whole arm from the shoulder girdle and then drop that left arm behind you. Breathe in. Elevate up through the torso. Create space in the shoulders. Bend the left elbow. And here is where you will work towards the fingers meeting. Uh, at this point, if you can't reach there and have a belt, it's the belt that will form a bridge so that you can, over time, and it will take time, bring those fingers to connect. Once in this position with the hands, look at 
whether you're really folding this right arm into your head. Can you breathe in and take that right elbow back so that it opens out across the front of your chest so that you're not all crunched up, you're actually making space. Check the positioning of uh, the body. Are you all chest forward and bottom back behind you and a big curve in the spine? Can you tilt the pelvis and bring yourself to align straight? And then release. And we're gonna do the same on the other side. So this time, we'll breathe in, and as we exhale, extend the left arm. We take it up and over as we exhale. Another breath in to raise the right arm up and over, and gently draw that arm across. It may be that your arm is right out here to begin with. You may not even be able to get that part of the arm. If so, you can even start just by positions such as this, getting the elbows back, drawing the shoulder blades towards each other. You will have to start somewhere, but as you move on, you'll be able to bring that elbow to bend and surrender into the posture. Unclench your teeth and breathe. Another breath in as you take your right hand out to the side and you're going to rotate it forwards from the shoulder girdle. You're not just turning your wrist, you're moving everything along that arm, the flesh included. And then you drop that arm behind you and bend at the elbow. Remember, you've got a belt or strap if you need it. Get that elbow away from your ear. You don't want it all crunching round. You don't want your shoulders rounding forward. Open out across the heart space. And breathe. And gently release. So that's the arms we're gonna use. If that's too difficult for you um, at the moment, then you can simply do this. If you're able to, you could do this. So they're the three options you have for your arms. And I'll be guiding us through um, with the first option that we just practiced together. So this is where we're going to kickstart once again, core strength. And then we're going to have to balance and coordinate this movement too. Let's take a breath in whilst we're in the kneeling position now, nice upright kneeling position. Take a breath in, raise our right arm up and bend it at the elbow. Next breath in, we take our left arm out to the side, rotate it forward fully from the shoulder and then drop that left arm behind us and bend at the elbow. Connect your fingers. If you're taking one of the, one of the other hand positions here, then do so. You're now gonna take a breath in. You're gonna lift your buttocks and you're gonna draw the body forward, bringing that right elbow so that it's gonna come down in front of your left knee as you extend your right leg behind you. And breathe. And then pull in strength into the trunk of the body. Breathe in, lift up and return to an upright kneeling position. Give yourself a moment to adjust, adapt. You might wanna give the shoulders a little bit of a shake and then we'll go on the other side. Breathe in, take the left arm out, up and bend at the elbow. Breathe in, the right arm goes out to the side. It rotates fully forwards. It drops behind you. It bends at the elbow 
and connects all fingers. The breath's still flowing and you've still got a conscious acknowledgement of the whole of your body. All parts are assisting in the movement, the posture. Nice deep breath in through the nose, lift the buttocks, take the trunk of the body forward, left elbow coming down in front of right knee. So you've actually got a rotation occurring on the torso too. As you extend your left leg behind you. Breathe in the fullness of the position. Remember to breathe. And then return to a central seated position. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. And come back to cross-legged. So it may take a while to draw the trinity of balance, coordination and strength. But that is one simple exercise that's gonna help you progress in that direction. Remember, yoga can be practiced anytime, almost anywhere and by everyone for the good of us all. See you tomorrow.